the first thing I want to do is is demo our factory, our car factory model. So I'm in the Vertex Connect app, which is our SaaS offering that enables collaboration throughout your enterprise. But you could also leverage the Vertex APIs to be able to render this same model and any sort of application that you want to build leveraging your factory floor model. So I'm just going to hop into walk mode here real quick and get a little closer view of this model. Um, so with Vertex, what you can see here is, you know, we're, we're simply streaming images to your device here. So like Matt talked about, all of the heavy lifting for Vertex is happening on the cloud. We're um, simply streaming down those images, which enables us to scale both model size, but then also deliver to tablets or mobile devices that interactive 3D experience. So what you see here is um, a supercar factory. You could design a view of your factory floor in real time where you're able to see what's, what's the state of the configurations at various stations, where are my technicians running into issues, and really leverage that real-time view of your factory floor to optimize your process and add efficiency into your factory um, factory floor. So primarily wanted to show off the scale here of this car factory, but also have you start thinking about what are some other use cases I could use if I could render my entire factory floor model, for example, collaborating um, on the layout of this as well with suppliers. Um, so those are just some of the initial use cases around factory floor. So with that in mind, I'm going to jump over to another application here. So this is a sample application. It's not the Vertex SaaS offering, but it's instead a sample application we built using that API, the Vertex API. So the same API that power our application, making those available through our digital twin platform and unlocking the ability for uh, end users to build applications for whatever their use cases are. Here, what we're demonstrating is, um, you know, it's still the still the same rendering API, streaming images from the cloud. We're trying to replicate what it will be like for end users who have multiple stations and multiple configurations moving through that factory, and how you would manage that experience using the Vertex APIs. So you can see here. We've set up our various steps that highlight the parts that need to be assembled, um, provide work instruction steps here as well, just using Lorem Ipsum, but you could imagine that this data was coming from uh, MES or ERP or some other system where you're already managing those work instruction steps. Um, and then also providing back when you select and interact with parts here, your, your part information. And so what this does is, is start to demonstrate how by bringing all this different data into Vertex, you could also unlock other use cases where you're logging part defects or providing some other experience where you're able to expose that part name, metadata information, other, um, other data that would be helpful to your manu manufacturing um, shop floor, or vice versa, that would be helpful to capture on the shop floor and, and feed that data back into engineering by um, providing that information to your technicians. One other thing I just want to call out around this demo too is we built this application trying to mirror an experience where you would import your parts into a Vertex parts library. And this would let you then construct these different scenes very dynamically. As long as we have all the parts in our in the Vertex parts library, then you can on the fly add parts or swap out parts of your configuration. It makes it very dynamic to be able to construct these scenes and these views and make sure that you're using the right parts for your work instruction steps. The last use case I wanted to demo here um, is our factory floor with IoT data aligned to it. So what you can see here is a bike factory and we are we have our historical IoT data here as well. As I interact with the historical data, you can see that the view is updating to reflect that data on the model itself. And this can help you figure out where you might have issues or where you need to have optimizations on your factory floor as well. 
I'm not going to spend too much time on IoT. Matt and Jim Zwick on our team did a webinar last week on using our platform for IoT use cases, and that's available on the website. So I definitely recommend checking that out. 